Okay, just a quick two laps. Um, Rises updated AMS2 again. Um, biggest thing for me is going to be uh, particle effects on water and dust being kicked up from the track. We've already looked at water, and now, believe it or not, we're going to look at dust. Okay, so this is going to be on the uh, back straight, two sections of the back straight where we're going to see most of it. We're in the GT1s, AI set at 100 and medium aggression, just for the purposes of this demonstration of dust. I have had a quick look and it is more subtle whereas the rain spray which is affected by the under tray of different vehicles and how much it kicks up what they've done with the dust is they've smoothed it off by that I mean the kind of the transition of when you see it to when it disappears so it's more kind of organic rather than there it is and click it's off uh, you'll see what I mean anyway it looks a little bit more lifelike. So we slot in here behind the McLaren, give this guy a bit of room. No crew chief on, so we don't want to get spun around by these guys because we didn't know they were there. The old direction that they're going with the endurance stuff is. Um, they're not going in that direction, but they're adding that feather to the cap. It's a very nice addition, especially for cars like this and tracks like this, which are a joy to drive on the right track. You don't want to be taking this round at our oh, no, no, Cadwell Park or something. <laughs> But Le Mans? Oh yeah, so anyway, we're coming into the dusty straights. Slotting behind the old Nissan. We get up the inside. So we're going to see as the cars are all kind of trying to do overtakes and side by side, they'll be uh, offline and we'll kick up dust. So it's a little subtler. There you go. The Nissan in front just kicking it up. It's more organic cars on the right as I was saying this is kind of it depends what kind of car it is and what kind of under train I did try the uh, GT3s at Laguna Seca and they're very clean cars <laughs> even at Laguna Seca is not as uh, dusty and sandy as I thought it was get the old GT1 Hoovers them on and there you go again we're going to get some dust it's only two laps so we'll, uh, we'll have a scootle up here now and get in the pack so i quite like what i'm doing on this side of the track right we're going to run it all the way up to the wall keep on the apex this one's a long never-ending corner which switches instantly into a left-hander but we need to get tight on because the runoff has got those rumble strips on. This is kind of a, a lazy S chicane. Now we're looking for the pit lane entry. Early dive in, late dive in. Watch the sausage curve. Okay. Done the power too early. Okay, turn one. Uphill, sharpens. Easy, easy, sharpens. Lost the back end. Watch those rumble strips through this chicane, because they'll just kick you wide. This one's a weird late one that's blind over the hill. Then we're going to drop down to third for this, keeping low because it hooks you in on the camber. Swatch, switch over the hump to the right hander. This one, just ease off. Take a nice bite of the curve on the inside. And 
and now we're on to the North Sun Street part one. Trying to keep in the uh, slipstream of the me uh, the uh, Ford McLaren in front of us. It's part of the uh, the last update was to uh, narrow that tunnel, that slipstream tunnel. Take that one. Give him room just in case. And we've got, I think he's at the side of me. Slowly move over just to get in. Yeah, he is, he's at the side of me. Just to get in the uh, slipstream of the car in front. Got a nice loose hold on the steering wheel so we're not dampening down all the uh, force feedback effects. We're getting them all in there, which gives us more details. You will notice the wheel is shuddering about a bit. That's because I'm letting it do it. Rather than gripping on and losing all that information on the feedback. Still with me, this McLaren. Okay, switching out to the outside. And we're coming up to the dusty bits again. What you've all tuned in for. Look at the dust. Bit of a lock up front right then. These cars won't be as out of position, so we shouldn't see as much, but we might get lucky. Here we come, dust spotters. Okay, we've got some overtakes going on up there. Nope, they're all in line, so we're not going to see anything. Ah, hang on. A little bit going on on the right. Not much, though. Four cars in head, they're all concerteering up on the brakes. Let's see what we get on the second strip. If anything. Little bits, it's quite um, I don't know whether you're gonna see it in flatty vision because you've got a lower resolution than I have. for it. Not the place to be going side by side through here. But we can do it. We're through. A bang of turbo. Come up on this Nis -nas Nissan. Nis -nas Nissan. Let's try and outbreak him. He didn't like that. He didn't want us outbreaking him. Got it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. We saw a little bit of dust. And that's the new update 1.5.6.2. Point Pi reoccurring. Right, anyway, I've got a race later on, so I better get back to Cadwell Park. Adios!